Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Omna. And this week's channeled message is from the Celestial White Beings and Archangel Michael. It's entitled The Journey of the Divine Human. Channeled through myself, Natalie Glasson, on the 18th of September, 2015. Celestial White Beings All periods of ascension upon the earth are both beautiful and magnificent. However, the point of ascension which has been reached by humanity currently is intriguing and interesting for both souls on the earth and the inner planes to observe and witness. As you know, the crystalline energies are creating a surge of light which they are linking into the earth and all of humanity to create powerful purification and processes of release where habits, patterns and lessons of growth which have been present throughout numerous lifetimes are being erased and completed in order to bring forth new energies from within your being. The new awakening of energy from within your being and the soul signifies a new phase of existence for all upon the earth. In truth, the creation of a new reality. It is important to remember that your reality is not outside of you. It is created from within your being, from your consciousness, beliefs and perspectives. The creation of a new reality doesn't mean that the world around you will suddenly be transformed and new. It signifies that your consciousness, beliefs and perspectives will alter and shift, giving the impression as well as allowing you to recreate and recognize your reality outside of you in new ways. While the crystalline energy is paving the way for transformation, the goddess energy is more fully awakening within the universe of the Creator and within your own being, bringing forth her creativity and wisdom to inspire healing and the new awakening of energy from within. The Goddess energy is encouraging you to recognize yourself with new fresh eyes as a greater manifestation and expression of the Creator. It is your purpose on the earth to express the Creator. It is a mission which fills all with joy and fulfillment because it is your natural existence to be in unison and oneness with the Creator, whatever label you use to divine the Creator. The Goddess energies are encouraging you to remember the beauty of the Creator so it may reform in your consciousness and being, therefore being projected into your reality. With these two sacred energies and the support of the universe of the Creator, the time of the divine human is dawning and manifesting upon the earth from the souls of many. It is time to recognize yourself as a divine human which signifies that your physical body is transforming to be unified with all aspects of your soul and the Creator. Most importantly, you are being invited and are 
already letting go of the human aspect and consciousness of your being. This is not to let go of the physical body, more so it is to release the human consciousness, perspective and awareness to replace it with a divine consciousness which will manifest in harmony with your physical body. Your physical body in the coming years will alter dramatically as it takes on more light and merges extensively with your soul and the Creator. This can be labelled ascension or enlightenment. And yet it is something which has very rarely been experienced on the earth before. Merging and marriage of the physical body with the divine essence. You are already experiencing this. You know you are a soul in a physical body. However, greater aspects of your soul will download into your physical body, causing your body to advance, becoming its greatest potential. This means your body will no longer be restricted, developing new abilities and skills and freedom. Archangel Michael now wishes to share with you a story which highlights the transitions you may have made in the past and how these are still relevant. Archangel Michael is also sharing with you the journey which is being taken by all to become a divine human upon the earth. The marriage of the divine consciousness with the physical body which is transforming into a divine physical body. There are many messages of growth within Archangel Michael's story, so please enjoy. Archangel Michael A soul so beautiful, powerful and radiant manifests into a physical body on the earth. We will label the soul Joseph, allowing the soul to take a physical male form. Joseph is now a fully grown adult and has spent much time discovering and learning about the world that exists on the earth. The light that was so bright at his birth still remains. But Joseph is no longer aware of this aspect of his being. His mind and aura have been filled with other ideas, distractions and desires. Joseph feels that there is something missing from his reality. He longs for something but cannot pinpoint what it is that is missing so much. He feels sadness inside of him, even when he is happy and his life is going well. Joseph decides that he must allow himself to escape, to embark on a journey. He doesn't know where he will go or what he will do, but the freedom gives him a feeling of exhilaration and excitement. He decides that although he wishes to travel, he will walk everywhere so that he can be reliant only on himself. Joseph begins to pack some bags, unaware of how long he will be gone or where he will go. He packs many items of clothing, tools to help him survive, and even books to amuse him on his journey. 
He leaves his home laden down with bags, but he cannot feel their weight. His enthusiasm is carrying him forward, and knowing thus that he will need all these items, allows the bags to feel extremely light. He begins to walk with a spring in his step. He is not sure where he is going, but decides to be creative in his decisions. Gradually the bags begin to become a burden. His enthusiasm has waned, and he begins to curse the bags and himself for bringing them. He no longer feels free, but tied down, just as he had felt before he left. He sits down and begins to rummage through his bags, throwing out unnecessary things until he has one small bag that holds the basics of what he will need to survive. He leaves his unwanted items at the foot of someone's door with a note telling them to take what they wish and share the rest. Again his enthusiasm has risen. After a long day of creative decisions, he finds himself by a river and decides to rest against a tree. He brings out his book and begins to read, completely entering into the fantasy world of the book. The wind begins to weave through the trees at the riverside, blowing his book across the ground. He leaves the book and huddles into his clothes for warmth. Joseph has very few belongings and the day is growing dark. He begins to wonder why he wanted to escape his reality, why he thought that the reality he has created for himself now would be any better than his previous reality. He still felt as if he was carrying so many bags, so many burdens, and wondered if there was any beauty, freedom or excitement in the earth's reality for him to experience. The wind continued to weave roughly through the trees as Joseph held tightly to his body and clothes for warmth and comfort. He felt as if the wind was speaking to him, although he heard no voice. The wind was demonstrating to him that he needed to let all his burdens be blown away from him. Joseph began to think about all the things he had done which he felt ashamed about. He just let them be blown away by the wind. Then he contemplated all the times he had experienced pain and sadness, allowing all these emotions and energetic wounds to be carried away on the wave of the wind. He wondered what else there was for him to let go and realized that he must send his forgiveness on the wave of the wind to the people he blamed for hurting him or doing wrong to him in the past. He had allowed himself to be hurt. Already he felt his body was so much lighter and he could feel the sadness that had been with him always being erased, and yet the wind still blew with vigor around him. He challenged himself as to what was left to let go. He realized he had already detached from the people around him, 
by even embarking on this journey. He still loved them deeply, but knew now that if he had to be on his own, he would be perfectly happy and could look after himself. Still holding tight to his body, he realized something that needed his attention. He had to let go of himself. He had to let the wind carry away all his perspectives of himself, the ideas he had formed about himself, good or bad, the way in which he spoke to himself, the things that he loved and hated about himself, as well as his dreams and desires for the future which he had built in his mind from the influences of his personality and of other people. He slowly began to release his tight grip on himself physically and energetically. He was happy with big chunks of himself being carried away from him and waited eagerly to see what would re remain. He broke down into floods of tears. It was hurting so much to release certain ideas of himself. But he was also filled with so much joy and freedom. He realized that he had been waiting all his life to achieve this and knew that it was something he would continue to achieve in his future. Falling asleep, he drifted into a dream of a tree shooting from the soil of the earth. He watched as the tree grew and grew in strength and character. The tree was tied to one spot for its life, and yet it held such freedom within its reality. He then felt himself as a tree shooting from the earth's soil right next to the first tree. He could feel worry in his body that he was growing too close to the other tree. He became taller and taller and his anxiety built. Then the wind blew once more and reminded him to let go of his anxiety and to just observe. Joseph allowed the wind to carry his anxiety and worry away. To his amazement, as a tree, he began to merge with the first taller tree. As he slipped into the tree's energy and consciousness, he realized he had accepted a tremendous freedom within his being. Although he couldn't move from his location, he felt strong and free from burdens. He felt clear inside his mind and heart and emotions. Nothing bothered him anymore. He understood he didn't have to be like other people. He didn't need to have what others created. He could just be himself and be happy in the reality he creates for himself. He knew if any energies, thoughts or emotions rose within him to challenge the freedom and peace he had created, he could just ask the wind to carry them away as long as he was ready to give them to the wind. He appreciated he could live happily with many things around him or he could live basically. Joseph also grasped that if it started to rain, hail or snow then he would still be happy and outside experiences couldn't destroy the peace and strength and freedom he had manifest within him. The freedom brought about tremendous joy which only filled him 
with even more courage in his convictions. A bright sun shone down on him as he existed as a tree. He had taken on all the consciousness of the first tree and now felt a tremendous unity and connection to everything. The sun seemed to continue to shine brighter. It was as if thousands of lights were dancing around him. He imagined himself opening his chest up to the light and allowing the light to flood into his being. He woke suddenly from his dream. It was morning and he had been asleep all night with his back up against the trunk of the tree. His body felt electrified, buzzing with light. He wondered if it had all been a dream, but remembered the pain as he explored his energy. A knowingness came from inside of him. You have cut yourself free from the influence of humanity's consciousness. You have given yourself freedom to think and feel as you wish, not from your personality or the influence of others, but from your soul. I am your soul and I am here to guide you forward. My mission is to merge with your physical body so completely that we represent the Creator upon the earth in a sacred physical body with divine emotions and consciousness. We are manifesting the divine incarnate so we may inspire all to remember their truth, thus achieving the same for themselves. Let us now embark on the real journey together. In your dream you merged with a greater tree. That was me, your soul. We are one, Joseph. Observe your body. It is charged with light and transforming beyond your imagination. Observe your heart and mind. They are open and clear as the consciousness of the Creator penetrates. My energy is here always to guide you. Remember nothing on the earth can create an identity for you. Your true identity is your soul and the Creator. You know this in your mind. Now is the time to experience it. Joseph stood up, tall, and stretched his body. He felt different. What shall we do? he asked himself. And the answer came instantly. With divine support, celestial white beings, and Archangel Michael.